Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. Let me move over closer to this because I think this is a camera. This is a real camera, the Logitech real camera, $199 or whatever. And I think the microphone on it is being used because I'm using uh, uh, Cheese program, the Linux Cheese program I'm using to record this video. Let me move this in a little closer. And this is a 29 gallon freshwater tank, of course. And uh, the only thing I have in there is, well, there's one Coriodorus catfish down at the bottom. And there's some snails. And then the red things you see are shrimp. They, are, they actually give birth, live birth. And uh, they've been reproducing in that tank uh, a great deal. I couldn't even, if, if I put a pair of, or a trio of, uh, say guppies in there, the guppies would eat the newborn, you know, uh, shrimp. So all I have in there is, uh, see one quite, oh, two Placostomus catfish. I love those. I don't think you've seen those yet in the video. They must be hiding. Let me, uh, Pull back here, uh, go back a ways here. There again, I'm not sure which. Go over this way. Okay, let me. Okay, there's the Coriodorus catfish there. And you can see some snails there. I love snails, always have. Well, not the pond snails, you know, the little tiny ones that uh, you get on plants and stuff like that. And uh, those shrimp are really uh, pretty, but they're small. A lot smaller than what they're appearing to, you know, to you with this, with this view. Uh, if you've seen my, my uh, video before, you may notice of my tank I changed. I pulled out the sponge filters and I put in an outside uh, filter on the back. And I got a much, this is a 29 gallon tank. It's a much bigger <laughs> external filter than I really need. But uh, the intake thing is right on the gravel. I, I, I need somehow to cut the uh, tube that goes down and make move that up a little bit. It's way down too low for me. Um, anyway, let's uh, swing this around. Let's see. Come around here. For, uh, there I am. Oh, God. What was it, the movie Tootsie? No, close up, pull back. I think, I'm gonna upload this video. I think this is the first, uh, first in a long time. I usually make my videos, you know, screen, capture the screen and have a web page and, and uh, whatever. Uh, let's see, uh, today it's, uh, Sunday, March 29th of 2020. It's uh, right after 5 p.m. Uh, we got in another food order. It was only about a $60 food order. Let me show you. <clears throat> Try to get by with that bumping into this.
I got in a bunch of these. Of course, you're only allowed, I think the maximum you can order at one time is three. Ordered from uh, Walmart. And uh, I got in three of those. Then I got in three of these salads. Then I ordered in three of another kind of uh, salad. I turned, on the 26th, I turned 79 years of age. And I decided to, uh, oh, that's right, I got to go out and walk. Uh, deciding to just, because I've been, you know, until about 65, I really was in good health. I mean, I thought I was in good health. I didn't have any problems. And about 65 years of age, boom, things started hitting. I have a pacemaker in me. Uh, total heart block. Poor circulation to the legs. You know, I don't know how long more they want to chop a leg off or something. Uh, and other problems. Enlarged prostate. A uh, bladder that retains urine, and just all kinds of little things that add up to life sucking. And uh, type 2 diabetes. Uh, so, what I should have, you know, and I worked all my life. A lot of years worked, you know, a lot of time I worked two jobs. Uh, and I thought all the walking that I did when I was working and other things, I thought that would... Uh, apparently I should have been going to a gym and exercising also, you know. Um, so, I know, don't laugh, but you know, I turned 79 the other day, so... Also, I haven't been walking, I've had, and I know they're correct, you know, people say, go walk or whatever. I haven't been able to... I uh, can barely stand up. Have to be careful I don't fall down. I don't know why. Uh, my doctors act, you know, like uh, like the heart doctor. Heart's working, you know, the pacemaker, the heart's working fine. Uh, and then I think the general thing is, well, you're old. Well, no, I see people out walking around and doing all kinds of stuff that are my age or older, but. Anyway, uh, on my birthday, I just decided, okay, so twice a day I go out. This is not a big apartment complex. If you watch my videos, you've probably seen, you know, but I go out and I walk around the parking lot one time. I'm doing that twice a day. And then I started also eating, you know, eating salads. And I've been trying, of course, for a while to, well, although if I say I've been trying to eat better, I'm going to have uh, the vegetarian fanatics and vegan fanatics and uh, everybody who has a, you know, oh, you have to take vitamin C, you know, oh, you have to, uh, you know, uh, so anyway, um, let me put this back in the refrigerator. You know, I don't know if this microphone is working. I not be working. Okay. Oh God, when I open up the refrigerator, you're going to see what's in my refrigerator. Keep in mind, we have another refrigerator. This is just a refrigerator in my room. I don't think I told you my name, but I've had people tell me, that, you know, oh, you don't need to tell, you know. But anyway, when I, when I gave you the date and the time, I didn't tell you what my name is, Jim Howard, and I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I am going to, should I add that to this video? Maybe so.
it's Sunday. I'm going to stop here and if this is the end of the video then you know but anyway I'm getting ready to go out and walk around. I'll take my camera with me. I won't use my cell phone. I do want to get a new cell phone. I don't need one. The one I have is fine because I don't do a lot. <clears throat> but I do want to get the Pixel 3a XL uh, because the camera on that is fantastic. It's like a it's actually not the, the camera and the lens. It's it's a good camera and a lens, but it's the Google Pixel software that makes that combination camera, you know, lens and the software uh, from what people say on YouTube the the camera is as good as a thousand dollars, you know, these Apple iPhones and all these other cell phones that now have three, five, six cameras and all that type of stuff that this is uh, for the Pixel 3a XL. Uh, it stands right there with them and you know, maybe beats them. So that is definitely something I want to get. But I'm going to, I don't think the battery's charged up on this. Yeah, it's kind of low. Okay, I'm going to, let's see, where is the, here we are. Okay, I'm going to take my Panasonic G7 camera. I look like I need it because it's walking around the parking lot. I wonder if the battery's charged up on that. It appears to be. Okay. So, you know, I think I had trouble getting the video off of here with, uh, by popping out the, uh, anyway, either this is the end of the video, please give a thumbs up or whatever, or you're going to see more video from, you're going to see a walk around video with this. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Okie doke. Here I am outside using my Panasonic G7 camera and I just made a video inside just using my uh, Logitech USB um, Brio camera. And I was using Linux software and using the Cheese program for that. So the audio will not be quite as good because I was using the uh, 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 microphone on the Brio camera. And so this is my Panasonic G7. My intention of maybe, this, if this works, is when I go inside I'll put these two videos together. The one I made indoors basically showing you my fish tank <laughs> and uh, then add this. I've been trying to walk around this parking lot two times a day. Or I mean, you know, come out and walk around once and then uh, later in the day or night come out and walk through the parking lot again. Now this is, uh, I think, the 29th of uh, March, Sunday, 2020. Give you a little perspective about the, you know, time and everything. We got in an order today from Walmart, about a, I think a $70 order, and uh, a couple packs of Coke Zero. It turned out it was mistakenly my ex-wife ordered uh, caffeine free. So I just normally drink Coke Zero not the caffeine free. That's the exit gate down there by the way. K 
Okay, have a see if I can walk down the stairs here. A few stairs without falling down and breaking something. I'm trying to hold on to the railing. Four steps. Uh, getting old is not great. I've mentioned before this, I love this Logitech G. I mean, it was like, I think, six or seven hundred dollars, I believe. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, it was a camera I really wanted. And about the same time, about the time I got it, I, and my health, not as good. And I can't, arthritis hurts me to bend over, bend down to get a good shot, you know, shot with the, uh, and I just haven't used I haven't used this camera much. What a shame. It was something I wanted for months. Finally got it and then haven't, you know, haven't been using it. But like I mentioned in another video, maybe the previous one, if this is a, if there is a previous one for this, uh, I mentioned that I I think I'm gonna buy a new cell phone for the camera the Pixel 3a XL. It's uh, under $400, and uh, now I can get the Pixel uh, 3a uh, for less than that. But I'm, I'm going to get the Pixel 3a XL, and uh, just going to start using the cell phone. I think or uh, making videos. Well, I, I don't think I'll use it indoors for, you know, when I'm at my desktop computer, but for anything outdoors or whatever, I think I'm gonna start using when I get it. When it we'll see how it works out. But, uh, anyway, I've started, <laughs> you're gonna see how short this if the battery lasts, how short this walk around the apartment complex is. And starting a few days ago, I just started to go outside and make one walk around the parking lot. Then later in the day, same thing. And that's it. And for, <laughs> especially for you young people, you're like, what my God, you know? You want me to do a marathon or something, you know? I used to be a bicycle patrol officer for for, uh, for a while. I love that. That was years ago. And uh, I would I might almost still be working there. Of course, they would have uh, they would have changed things. Well, they did. They were going to change things. They uh, went. To well, when I started working for that hospital, I worked five years at the main facility, and then they I had to file a grievance to get to go out to the hospital right next to where I lived, and uh, so I worked out there for ten years. Howdy, How you doing? pretty good. <laughs> You're on YouTube now. Be a good dog. Oh, he loves people. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on. So anyway, when I went to the small hospital, okay, I worked out there 10 years. Then I went down to the main hospital because they had started, well, okay, at the small hospital. I brought my bicycle in and... Uh, started uh, doing bike patrols out there at the small hospital. I was the only officer that worked there. Worked out great. I kept putting on my activity sheet for the, you know, every day that I made a bike patrol once or twice around the thing. And anyway, I got written up for uh, going against hospital policy by not asking, you know. So, so years later, 
uh, in the Kansas City, Missouri area, KU Medical Center. Their hospital, they had their security officers uh, doing bike patrols. It made the news, made the newspaper, made the <laughs> TV stations, and then the guys at the hospital I worked, Jim, you were doing that, you know, because no other hospital was doing that, you know. And uh, the guys were, my God, Jim, you were, you got written up for doing that years ago, you know. And uh, so anyway, years later, uh, the hospital, the main hospital, put hired her, put two security officers doing bike patrol, two young guys, both who wanted to be police officers and both who left to be police officers. Anyway, when the first opening became available, I put in for it. I got, it must have been 50 years of age, 55, I don't know how old I was. And director of security said, Jim, do you want the, you know? And I said, yeah, I said, I'm old. I said, but I, I want the job. I said, if you don't have an objection to me being, he said, well, can you do the job? And I said, yes, sir, I can. He said, Jim, every time you say you're going to do something or whatever, he says, you always do it. He says, well, you got the job. So I went down there, and so it was, uh, you know, the young officer and myself then. And when I went down there, you know, snow, rain or whatever, he would, uh, the other officer, the young guy, would take out an unmarked car and uh, just be sitting in it out in the parking lot. I went in, I, I took out the bicycle. And then uh, right away, hadn't been there very long, and then they'd informed me that uh, when the weather, winter time came or whatever, that they were uh, going to have the bike patrol officers when winter came would not be doing bike patrol, but they'd be sent to another hospital to, you know, work and then come back. And I just told them, hey, doesn't bother me, I'm putting it for my retirement. <laughs> so, so I have exercised a little bit. Not that it did me any good. I'm almost back home. Anyway, I've been eating, uh, just started three days ago, eating salads and going out twice a day to, uh, to walk. I didn't fall down. I even got to pet a dog, one of the guy's dogs here, and uh, didn't get bit, so that's good. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching this video.